Hello, this is David Ferguson uh, with MLC CAD Systems and Mastercam 2020. You can now add and modify custom tool locators for your mill turn environment. So the example I'm going to show you today uses a Mori Seiki uh, NTX 1000. And the problem I'm having is the tools I have loaded don't have corresponding locators that will work with them. These are Sandvik Capto C4 tooling, and I only have a, a brace of C5 Capto locators. So I need to add the correct locator, and the locator I'm going to be adding is a, a dual station locator to allow tooling on both the left and right spindle. So to do this, I need first to make sure that I have Mastercam's code expert open and the machine I'm modifying selected there. And then what I can do is I'm going to go ahead and open up that corresponding machine's English GMD file. And I can simply drag that into Mastercam itself. And what that has listed here is every tool locator that I happen to have already loaded in that GMD file. What I need to do is add a file. So I've gone ahead and I've downloaded a solid model of the tool locator I want to use from Sandvik's website. And I'm simply going to merge that into the GMD file using the file merge function. And we're going to be using this locator here. And that's the locator in question. Now the orientation of the locator is important. For a lower turret, the tools need to be pointing in a Y positive direction. In an upper turret, they'd be pointing in a Y negative direction. So I just simply need to rotate this part. And I can use the dynamic rotation for that. So I'll simply transform this guy based on the origin. 90 degrees, so it's Y positive. And then what I want to do next is go ahead and figure out which level this is on. It's, I believe, on level 4. And I'm just going to change that level number to something a little higher. We'll go with level 555. And I'm going to go ahead and give this a better name. So we'll just call this one Sandvik C4 Dual. Now, the other thing that needs to be added to any tool locator is a tool location point. And on Capto tooling, you can do that with a, a point position. And for Capto, it's simply the center point of that face. So those will be the points I'm using to locate the tools themselves. So just with the solid model and a couple of points, I can then go into the machine definition and add this properly. So the machine definition for this machine, uh, the lower tool group, the lower turret, and I'm simply going to right click on that and add a tool locator. And this is my locator. I'm going to give it a better name. I need to assign the geometry to that and that's the solid model so I'll switch over to geometry and I'll let it know that I'm using a solid entity which I can then select and then back on the parameters I need to define two stations on this locator so there's station one and I'm just gonna add a station two. Station one is the left station and station two will be the right station and then I need to assign those locator points. And on Capto tooling, the position to match is number five. That's the center back of the tool holder itself. So for station one, I'll select the left position. And then for station two, I will select the right position. And then I also need to remember that I can let it know exactly what sort of tooling is allowed on that. In this case, they're both fixed tools, both up and down inserts. So once that's added, I'm going to go ahead and green check it. I'm going to save that machine definition. Uh, I'll green check it. And then I need to save that GMD file. And I make sure I'm saving this as a database to the machine definition. And there's my original. And I'm just going to overwrite that one. And then in Code Expert, I can confirm that I have modified the GMD by the little asterisk right there. So this just needs to be saved which updates the general machine file. So now if I go back into my original part file, I should now see that locator listed. And from my available locators, we'll see, there it is. So I'm just going to go ahead and load that on index one on my turret. And you can see I've got my first station, my left and my right stations. And here I'm going to go ahead and just load both of my tools on there. One of these I'm using, one of them I'm not. So my left tool and my right facing tool. Now when I go ahead and I look at the turret with that locator and those tools, 
that tool locator has been added to station number one, and those CAPTO tools are properly loaded on the locator. So I can now go ahead and use this full simulation. And so just in a couple of easy steps, I've gone ahead and I've added a custom tool locator. And of course, I can use this locator. So I can put it in any of the indexes. And I can fully load and simulate uh, the tooling that I have.